person that builds things. Someone who works with machinery. I have no idea. I'm assuming physics has something to do with it. Um, Train comes first to mind. Don't they fix cars? I think, I think, isn't that right? An engineer is a professional who applies the principles of science to solve problems in uh, society. Engineers, the keystone of advanced civilization. Most people are unable to explain what an engineer is when asked. Most people don't realize the importance of engineers. Without them, we would have none of the technology of the modern day world. No computers, no phones, no televisions, no railroads, no aircraft, no cars, nor even proper roads. People from times prior to modern engineering school and licensure who designed or invented with the application of math and science are now considered engineers. Engineers today and throughout history have shaped society as we know it because their designs often directly affect the public. Consequently, it is and has been the responsibility of engineers to conduct their work in an ethical manner so as not to abridge the public's right to safety. The legal responsibility of engineers dates back as far as the Code of Hammurabi, the first recorded set of laws, written in 1800 BC. It prescribed harsh punishments for building designers and builders of structures that harmed citizens. If a building collapsed and killed anyone, its designer and or builders were executed. Today, engineering design is regulated by building codes. The purpose of building codes is to set minimum requirements for public structures to be built in order to protect the health, welfare, and safety of the public. Engineers are expected to perform their work in ways that benefit mankind. Engineers have been able to greatly improve the quality of living and aid societal development throughout history. A stellar example of this is the creation of sewer systems. In ancient Rome, engineers created advanced plumbing systems. Without its clean water supply and wastewater disposal systems, Rome could not have become the great empire it was. Centuries later in London, tens of thousands of people died from outbreaks of diseases such as cholera, diarrhea, typhoid, and dysentery due to drinking contaminated water. When the cause of the illness was discovered, civil engineers began working to create an extensive sanitary sewer system. As a result of its implementation, outbreaks of the illnesses in areas with sewers disappeared. Engineers can and have greatly improved humanity's quality of life in countless ways, but they can and have also hurt and killed people due to mistakes, negligence, and unethical practice. The most severe structural engineering mistake in United States history was the Hyatt Regency Hotel walkway collapse in Kansas City, Missouri. The Hyatt Regency Hotel, less than a year old, was the newest and grandest hotel in Kansas City at the time of the disaster. It regularly held popular tea dance parties in its atrium on Friday evenings. During one of these parties, on July 17, 1981, partners were dancing merrily across the floor while others watched from the second, third, and fourth floor suspended walkways. Without warning, the fourth floor skywalk failed, collapsing onto the second floor skywalk directly below it. Both crashed onto the party below with a combined weight of 64 tons of concrete and steel. Due to the circumstances, rescuing survivors proved difficult and dangerous. Hundreds of people were buried alive, critically injured, and unable to move. Many would soon die without medical attention. Worse yet, many were in danger of drowning due to a large water pipe broken by the collapse. Rescue workers risked their lives to save survivors, working under an unstable section of skywalk propped against a wall. The rescuers tried in vain to lift the debris with firemen's jacks and house-moving jacks. Jackhammer operators were called in to extricate survivors. Many who survived the initial collapse died before they could be rescued. The last survivor was rescued over nine hours after the collapse. Eventually, cranes had to break through the windows to lift the skywalks off those who did not survive. 114 people were killed, and over 200 more were injured. Those who died and were injured can be counted, but those affected by the disaster, the rescue workers, those of the Hyatt who only witnessed the collapse, families and friends of the dead and injured, and even whole communities were affected. One community that was devastated was the Oakland area of Topeka, Kansas. At the Hyatt, the night of the disaster was one of the first all-female mariachi ensembles in the country, the groundbreaking Mariachi Estrella de Topeka. Six of the seven members were present. 
Shortly after arriving, they had just started across one of the skywalks when the collapse occurred. Only two of the six survived. We walked in the front door, went up in an elevator, and walked onto the skywalk. We had barely walked onto the skywalk, not very far. And I was looking down at the tea dance that was going on, and just before you know it, one minute I was, it was normal, and then just like a second or two of chaos, and, and then I was like trapped. Four members of our group, our mariachi, dying had a profound effect on not only all of our families, but all, our whole community because our mariachi, we played at a lot of functions, social functions at our church. Uh, we always, uh, we played at the fiesta. We played two nights already of the fiesta and that, that uh, tragedy happened on a Friday night and we were scheduled to play the next day. And uh, so I, I do, I don't remember this because I of course did not go to the fiesta, but I that um, all of the women in the kitchen were crying mm -hmm. while they're making the food. Because uh, at the fiesta, besides playing outside for the people, we also went, uh, we always played for the kitchen help. Mariachi Estrella was quickly gaining recognition and had already had an offer for a recording contract at the time of the collapse. No one knows how they might have affected history if they could have continued. Directly affected by the loss was the Oakland community. During the collapse, the annual Fiesta Mexicana, a Topeka tradition, was in full swing. Mariachi Estrella had performed there the night before, and they were scheduled to perform the night after the disaster. The night after the tragedy, a banner was hung at the Fiesta for the women who had died, and many wore ribbons in their honor. A great feeling of sadness and loss hung over Topeka from the tragedy. Thirty years later, a memorial statue was erected on the front lawn of the Topeka Performing Arts Center to honor them. It's very important that, um, that engineers and, and all who uh, approve the, pl the plans and the, the building uh, projects, everything be you know, structurally sound and up to code because uh, it, it affects a lot of people's lives if uh, someone is killed or injured because of uh, negligence. And it stays with you for years. I mean, this has been over 30 years and it's, it's still painful to me, emotionally. Despite over 30 years having passed since the accident, the event still pains and haunts many who were involved. As concluded by the investigation of the disaster, the collapse, and consequently the vast amount of pain and suffering endured from the disaster, was caused by the gross negligence of the engineers from the engineering firm responsible for the Skywalk's design. After I heard about negligence and uh uh, not following the codes to building that, uh, of course I was angry, I was very angry. The design did not meet code requirements and was not strong enough to support the expected load. After investigation, the firm was closed and several engineers lost their license to practice engineering. There are many occupations where if you make a mistake, the implications are minor. If you're a medical doctor, if you make a mistake, you may kill one person. But if you're an engineer and you make a mistake, you may kill hundreds of people. Engineers have greatly impacted society, luckily in most cases for the better. Thankfully, events like the Hyatt disaster are very rare. Without engineers, uh, I don't believe a modern society would exist. Uh, we'd be much closer to um, the, we'd, I would anticipate that we would still be in the uh, hunter and gatherer type mode of of living off the land rather than being in organized groups in large numbers in a small confined space wouldn't be possible. It is evident that the work of engineers greatly impacts society. Engineers failing to conduct their work ethically comes with a heavy penalty, harm to the public.